Operation Patriot, another weekend. Uh, the objective exercise obviously is to get out on the streets and to detect the persons who are possessing the drugs with intent to supply and also those in possession and using for their own use. I'll just say this to you, all you need to do while you're out there is to remember this, you are policemen, you need to be polite to these people and above all be professional. Greater Kevin. There you go. Yeah, I'm going in with one, and he's got the radio. Staffordshire police have launched one of the most ambitious high-profile operations against the drug ecstasy. Operation Patriot was launched in September 1991. Since then, there have been almost 500 arrests and some notable seizures of drugs. The operation has been focused here in Longton, an unremarkable part of Stoke-on-Trent, which, rightly or wrongly, has become notorious as a centre for drug dealing. On this car park, week after week, the police arrest people buying and selling drugs. This Saturday night is no exception. Is that all you got? Yeah. You got anything else? Just tell us anything no, else. Just, just, just tell me. Just a knee. Where did you get that from? Oh, I bought it a few weeks ago. Just shine as your torch. What's this? <coughs> it's just your cannabis as well, mate. Yeah. Is it cannabis? It is. So I'm arresting you on suspicion of possession of a controlled drug. You didn't have to say anything unless you were to do so, but what you say may have given evidence. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Listen to me. OK. I have to tell you that being arrested on suspicion of a lawful possession of a controlled drug, namely ecstasy and cannabis, and that you're not obliged to say anything unless you do so, but what you do say may have given evidence. You understand that? Yeah. OK. Come with me now. We'll go to the police station. OK? See you later. Try, right, darling. During the evening, there are 15 arrests. The most important concerns a man caught with 30 tablets of ecstasy. Opposite the car park where these arrests took place is the nightclub Shelley's. Shelley's is one of the best known rave clubs in Britain. Young people come from all across the Midlands and the North. Brilliant atmosphere. The people are so, you know, happy like. Stiff, good atmosphere. I drive 65 miles nearly every other week to come up to it. It's the best club in the country. Come here. You're not going to beat, you're never going to beat Shelley's. The atmosphere, the people, I never even knew these. Yeah, it's, we met here. We met, we so, met here. Nice yeah. to meet you. Hello, devil, are you? The police want Shelley's closed down. They say that drugs have been sold both inside and outside the club. And on the basis of these allegations, have persuaded Stoke-on-Trent councillors and magistrates to withdraw the club's entertainment and liquor licences. The club's management says it stopped drug dealing inside the premises and the police have yet to prove their allegations in a court of law. The case will be decided by the Crown Court at a later date. John Matthews, the owner, is a former landscape gardener. He says the police want to shut his club simply to justify the high cost and poor results of Operation Patriot. I think I've become a scapegoat because of the magnitude and the name and the success of Shelley's, the name it carries. Uh, the reputation that it's got and it's a huge feather in somebody's cap if they can close it down because as I've said it won't stop the drug scene it won't stop the race scene so in actual fact what has it achieved? We've been um, castigated if you wish for something that is not our fault it's, it's a problem that we are trying to address we are trying to control but it's an impossible one to control absolutely impossible there comes a situation where you cannot stop someone who wants to take a drug. Drugs are renowned right the way through the UK. They're in every walk of life. They're in as early as schools, they're in rock concerts, they're at football matches, they're in nightclubs, they're in raves, they're in pubs, they're in the street, they're in the park. Drugs are here, and drugs, as hateful as they are, they're here to stay. It's true that you've made money out of the drug ecstasy? Uh, I wouldn't like to think I've made money out of the drug ecstasy. Um, let me see if I could channel that differently. I've certainly made money out of, uh, out of the rave scene. Uh, so have a lot of other people. Uh, record labels, artists, bands, DJs, um, Top of the Pops, BBC, ITV. Anyone that has featured any article on rave or they've carried a programme on that, uh, the media, the press, uh, magazines. Yeah, we've all made money out of the rave scene. If we are saying that the rave can't survive without ecstasy, 
then maybe inadvertently and certainly not illegally, uh, I suppose we can be accused of making money out of, out of ecstasy.